Hello again. Let's resume from where we left off. We were just listening to Stratton there. And, uh... Gonna continue exploring around. See what we can find. Oh, I see a purple person over there. Let's go check that out. Uh, actually, how do I get back up here? Uh... Can I... can I go around here? Or is this gonna be bad for me? This is kind of... Okay, it's kind of working. Okay, that works. That works! <laughs> oh, purple person, where art thou? Didn't I see... over here? Oh! Oh, I have to complete more of this first. Okay. Okay, I understand. Any question marks nearby? No. Oh, another one of these! Okay. Or is this the same one? No, it's gotta be different, right? Does it remember that I flipped them? Yeah, this is a different one, but I don't know if it remembers that I flipped the other one. Well, actually I have an easy way to find out. Let's just enter a puzzle, save, and then load back into the game. It'll clear things right up. Hey, it's puzzle number one. Yeah, let's do that. Absorption. Stop game. Play. Continue. Alright, now let's go check on that leper and see if it's still flipped or not. I mainly just entered the puzzle to get a checkpoint in that specific area. That way I wouldn't have to walk so far. Okay, good news, it's still flipped and I cannot flip it the other way. Let's head into this puzzle now. Absorption. Right-click to deselect all. Right? Right-click is- Oh, you have to hold it down! Okay. I understand now. Oh, it doesn't keep the connections, that's interesting. There we go. Easy enough. There's so much history here that we can't see. The Founder must have walked these paths hundreds of times, maybe thousands. Miranda must have stood right where we're standing. This all looks alien to us, but it, it must have been familiar to them. If this was their home, where are they now? They must be inside the megastructure, waiting for us to pass the test. It's the only thing that makes sense. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I actually need to do it. Like that. Wait, no. Oh. Oh, I need to make. Okay, I get it now. Need to discharge this. Need to make green. Absorb the green, please. Thank you. And 
then do that. And take red, the green, and we hit the blues. Ta-da! Did I go there yet? I might have. Yes, I did. That was where I found a flame. Okay. And yeah, I've done that, I've done that one already. These structures kind of look like the absorption device, don't they? Whatever it's called. Accumulator. Yeah, they look like the bulbs of the accumulator. There, but what is that connected to, though? Is there a wire coming from that? Is it connected to this barrier? Come on, y'all were doing wires at the beginning of the game. Give me wires again, please. that doing there? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So it waits until it gets the first... Yeah! Alright. Uh, let's use the box, actually. Okay, what does that do for me? Yes, it does turn off this barrier. Okay. Then from here we could get red, but then the jammer is forever trapped in here. I guess this gate will open somehow? Slide this to the ground. Makes sense. Have I been there? It's got a star icon, so maybe I have? Or, oh no, that's the, yeah, okay, I remember that. That's the one that wants me to find the spark. Which is somewhere over here, supposedly. Ah, oh, there it is! This one's really slow. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Just interesting that they have different speeds.
I get this sword now already? Yes. Did it. Utopia is impossible, but the future that is possible will seem like a dream to those who are alive now. Yeah, pretty much. Makes sense. Alright. Now we just need to figure out the stuff about the statues. Right? I think so. Map. Yeah, one under two stars. What was that? Oh, probably the new region. Okay. One to one last labs. Lost puddles. Let's just do the main puzzles and figure out this other star and we're good. Because we already got a spark here as well. Wellspring. That reminds me of Heaven's Vault. Another interesting game worth playing. Is that intended? Really not. I don't think it would really help us much, but we try it anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a no. Could also get blue in there. Okay. What color do we want actually? We got plenty of different vantage points. Blue to start with. Okay. Let's do that then. Best vantage point we have. What else could we do, though? Oh yeah, we got a we got a vantage point here. Wait, no, we don't. No, we do not actually. Well, I guess we need a...
Hmm. Red has basically the same problem. And I don't think we could activate that and red at the same time, right? Oh yeah, there's there's no way. Yeah, that's not making it. What exactly are we hoping to accomplish here? See how we can do any of this right now. Am I missing something? I don't even see how way I could charge that. I think mean, I can connect to it, but everything's blocking it. Oh, I'm. <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense. Yep. Gotcha. Through a window. There we go. Now we can at least get that one out and do some stuff with it. This is a dead end. Don't ever need to come back here. That's good. Right. What do we want to do with this, though? And what can we see from here? We need a red eventually there. Let's charge this with red and see what that does for us. Wow, that's a really subtle change on the icon. No wonder I'm having so much trouble with this. And yeah, let's just put it... That's good enough. There's nothing on this side, right? Yeah, I don't think... I don't think so. Move things around. Excellent. I hope that's intended. <laughs> Meldo? What is it now? Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Why do you care that my hand is in the picture? Your hand isn't in the picture, it is the picture. I like it. It's very... artistic. Let's stay professional, everyone. It's not right to make fun of Melville's comically absurd inability to take decent pictures. She's a hyper-advanced humanoid machine, not a photographer. You'll pay for this, Byron. Uh, is this supposed to be a joke? 
I, I don't understand what's going on with this plot thread. Wasn't this ominous? A moment, let me get a checkpoint here. Balance the forces. Okay, I hope that's a checkpoint. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, that's, uh... That's about what I expected. Where is it gonna put me? Oh, loading screen. Why? Excellent, that is a checkpoint. <laughs> Alright, at least there's that going for me. Uh, nothing on this side. This one really looks like it has some hardcore opportunities. Hey, look at that! And there's nothing. Okay. Balance of forces. This really looks like I can make it, doesn't it? Does it look like in third person? Oh, okay. That- I can understand. Well, it- it still looks very makeable. laser emitters. Oh, there's one. Let's try that. That's a start. Okay, I can get out of that. That's good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Might actually be exactly what we need for the solution, actually. Now that I think about it. Yep, I remember this from Road to Gehenna. This has got such odd architecture to bridge you from taking that laser into another puzzle. I like this music. The music in this game is good. Reconnaissance. Driller, a connector, uh, forgot what these are called, and an accumulator. Got a whole bunch of things in this. Ooh. Okay, so we definitely need the driller for this. And then what do we want to take it? Guess we need red somewhere? Yeah, we need red. That's why we have blue and green. Seems pretty consistent that they only put green in a puzzle when you have one of these things in it. Because 
Uh, the other test element, the one that swaps between red and blue, well, it, it only works with red and blue. Oh, we can get in here now. Oh wait, we always could have. I did, how did I not see this? Oh wait, no, no, this- the barrier is on this side. Okay, yeah. Wait, but why...? So there's just a wall here, and two purple fizzlers right there. Huh. How are we gonna get this out of here? I guess we need to take the... Let's, let's, uh... I think we ultimately want to flip things around here. We want to take this out, probably put it here, and then we want to take this and put it in there. That's my guess, anyway. You really, really have puzzles where you leave things where you found them. Then again, <laughs> I did overcomplicate that one puzzle inside the mega structure. Right, I need to put this back on here. angle to that button? That's the question. Yes! I do. Interesting. Well, that's how we're gonna get blue. Wait... Okay, so... If I do this... How do I get blue... if I have green? Okay, I don't have an angle to... Do I? Oh. Aha! <laughs> I'm not entirely certain that that's intended. But I don't know if it helps us either. Uh, let's, let's do some more investigation, I suppose. Right, I forgot we have that, too. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess that can stay out here and serve as our button, so... We've got this now. Right. I think there might be a few more steps to this. Oh wait. I just... Oh, is it this easy? Oh. Okay, it was that easy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I broke that. Cause, uh... This really does not feel like it was the way things are supposed to happen. Maybe I did break this. <laughs> oh well. Y'all can tell me in the comments. Okay, I've already done that one. Have I been to this? What is this? Oh, I don't think I've seen this yet. An airboat. Oh, a satellite dish. Okay, it looked like an airboat. A shattered section of a device used by the ancients to communicate over vast distances. At the height of ancient civiliza human civilization, most of the human species was part of a single network.
Rainbow! <laughs> Ooh. I'm not familiar with this bright flag. Just get, out, get this out of the way for the moment. this one properly. Yay! Did it. That was a freebie. Oops. I can't even get my brain to think like that. Remember... We need a red over here. This is something we don't really have very many objects to work with here. What are the fans for? Definitely need the accumulator over here. That's the only answer that I can envision right now. But how do we get the accumulator out of this? There's there's nothing else in here, right? Interesting symbols. Yeah, that's about what I expected. to try doing that. Like obviously if we put this if we put the accumulator here. Yeah that that doesn't do much good for us at all. This one launches us a little bit further. That's interesting. Oh, I'm being stupid. Yeah, yeah, what a, 
What are the fans for, though? I don't understand that. Oh, there's more to it. Okay, that makes it- Whoa! Ooh, isn't that interesting? Oh, hey then. Well, first things first, let's get that accumulator out of here. <laughs> Bouncy. Alright. Using. Technically, we don't have to do this. We're already done. I'm just having fun here. Yeah, we could have just done this with the accumulator. Hey, they give us a little step to get out if we want. How kind. Certainly makes me wonder. Excuse me? It went down and back up? Uh, <laughs> okay. I broke the game again, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. Last thing to do is the star with the switches that we've been experimenting with. Where are more of those statues? That's the question. Where do we actually need to go once we activate them all? Still not sure. Have I gone in this direction yet? Oh yeah, I think I did look at the quote-unquote purple figure, you know. I don't see anything- wait. No, that's in the distance, okay. Yeah, I don't see anything on that island that would be relevant to the star. The statues have mostly been along the edges of the shoreline here, haven't they? I think all of them have been along the shoreline. Or at least, or we have a sample size of two. Yeah, here's one of them. This is the second one we found. It's already flipped, can't flip it again. Well, let's keep exploring the shoreline. Maybe there's one on each island? If I don't find any more on this island, then I'll, I'll assume that's the case. But then... Oh, it's right here by the entrance! Okay, that makes sense. Okay, there's a third... 
over there. How does this line up with our current trajectory? Something to the right of the big tower. How do we get there, though? Yeah, so this must be the one I was looking at before. This is the one I saw on the tram coming in, and I already got that one. That was first, that's second. I guess I'm gonna do this one third. How do we get over there? We need to cross the bridge first, I wonder. Maybe we do. Or maybe there's some shallows here. Oh! Is it this? How do we get there? Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta cross to the tower first. Okay. We'll do, then. The only choices we have are renouncing civilization, or mindless expansion. But that's not the only path forward. Embracing deliberate control over nature doesn't have to mean destruction. We are a species of artists and artisans, blessed with the ability to transform the raw material of the cosmos into new and better shapes. Shapes that have meaning. With our technology, we can take this chaotic world, so full of suffering, and turn it into a work of art. Well, that was easy. Our star, and then we'll head into the tower. None may know what came first, error or sin, and yet every choice depends on it. that one. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the fog once again. I am not sure if it's supposed to be like this, but it was like that in the others, right? Creature of clay, you have taken another step towards the flame. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people, or have they brought nothing but strife? Without his gifts, it would no longer even exist. His gifts have greatly eased the suffering of the world, 
we have made mistakes in using them, but the good outweighs the bad. They have caused great harm, but they cannot be put back in the box. They've been a curse to my people. Lady Emma Robot. <laughs> uh, the comedian options. I'm gonna pick this one. And you repeat your mistakes until they destroy you. That's quite a pessimistic view, lady. I've been thinking. There's three towers per cardinal direction and three entities. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. Or maybe it's a pattern that we're supposed to notice the absence of. Maybe it's intentional for us to notice that. I think we got everything, right? Map, please. 8 out of 8, 2 out of 2. Can't do that yet. 1 out of 1, 2 out of 2. Yep, we're good here. What's this? Where is the new? Oh, yeah, the one I already did. <laughs> Lost marshes. The northeastern marshes of the island have been mostly lost to the sea. Or have mostly been lost at sea, with the exception of this small patch of land. Such speed. I hope we don't hit a bird. Maybe the tracks have some way to guard against birds, I don't know. This area looks flooded as well. Our ancestors melted a whole lot of ice. After they died, most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. We went there once with Garrus, when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the Founder created the goal. When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. This isn't revenge, Al. It's just failure. People, cities, mountains, as far as the sea is concerned, it's all the same. Their mistake was forgetting that, telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. All right, let's get to exploring. I'm not seeing anything on the compass in this direction, but maybe there's some, like, some wreckage or something, like stuff that doesn't show up on the compass. I mean, the wreckage isn't really that interesting, it just tells you a little bit about what they think old stuff. Is that something? Or are these just rocks? These are just rocks. Yes. That's a question mark, I think. happened here? Hmm. Oh, I see some- oh no, that's just rocks. <laughs>
is there a way to get on that island? Uh, maybe there? Oh, I don't think I can cross that gap. That's definitely a question mark there that I can get to somehow. comes all the way out here. That's interesting. saw something. Nope, just the sun. Is the sun actually going down as we progress to reach a new area? I think it is. The time is passing. Is this just a terminal? The decorative thing around it? Came all the way out here for a terminal. You may wonder why I insist on these unsanctioned, unplanned expeditions. Some think it is because I hate civilization and prefer to lose myself in nature. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. It is because I love New Jerusalem that I have to leave, because it is only when I am here that I fully appreciate what the city means, and also because I believe that if I stayed at home, I would one day be ethically compelled to commit acts of violence against those who, in their arrogance, Imagine that humans should live in harmony with the chaos that surrounds us. Chaos control! Oh, hello there. Where'd you come from? Oh, that's also a rock. So it looks like that appears to be... Is that a puzzle or a question mark? I think it's a puzzle. Or no, there's both in this direction. Let's go to the question mark. And then I saw something behind me as well. Ooh, I like these! It's a green laser acceptor. Acceptacle. I wonder how much time has passed. Like, how old are these? That one's just barely on there. Alright, let's head in the other direction now. See what else is out there. Oh! That appears to be... One of those ones that we put two colors in and it puts a third color out. So we need to put red and blue into that. And maybe it'll... Help us... Get green to then use in this puzzle and aim into that? That would be my guess. Wait, 
Is the time of day based on my actual real world time? I wonder. I think there's like a puzzle up there or something. I wonder why these puzzles are all raised up above the ground. Interesting design decision. Yep, here we are. A triangle puzzle. We can even walk around up here. Interesting. Huh. Oh, it's just some growing stuff hanging down. All around. Whoa, what is that? Uh... Bring an item to sw- oh, ho, 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 ho. That's an interesting approach to this. Like, normally, you would just have, like, an item behind a barrier with a button that opens it. And that would force you to swap the items. But... I guess this also works. Does it, does it deactivate the item though, I wonder? Let's test. Yes, it disconnects it, so you can't even use it. So, with the button behind the barrier system, the item can still be utilized. But with this, it's deactivated. Interesting. an item to swap. <laughs> we need green in here somehow. Okay. I... Ooh, I just... Oh, oh. Am I supposed to be able to do that? That might not be intended. Uh... It helps. <laughs> I mean, you'd think you'd find these things in testing. It's just kind of strange to me that it seems so, un like, unintended, it just barely works. Like, you would think they'd either make it clear that it does work, or clear that it doesn't, and not ambiguous like that. Hmm. I think I need the jammer on this side anyway. This can be opened, interestingly. Okay, so we do need that guy. Now I have no item to swap, though. That's the problem. 
Huh. Yeah, that's not helping. Is this all we need? Maybe this is all we need. I think I was overcomplicating things. Ah, uh, yeah, I was overcompli- oh. No, I was not, actually. We need the jammer inside here somehow. Okay. I can do this, actually. Alright, jammer inside here. These back out. There we go. There we go. Now I've got it. Right. I've had a closer look at the Song Drone. It's based on the original prototype with some modifications. As usual, the data is a mess, but I strongly suspect there might be a functional version somewhere. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal. But please remember, that is not our main priority here. Keep an eye open for it, but focus on finding Athena. RGB converter, that's the name of that thing. <laughs> I thought they would have had a more fancy name for it than just RGB converter. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!